Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, uh, we started the game and we've got a star, uh, but now we've been instructed to complete a task. So we've got Jubilee Village, but we also got the Sitting Field Lands. Oh look, I've got a camp. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoof, Starly, and Shanks. You ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Ah, well, you she. Captain Shailene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our son guest. That's our unsparing captain, but... Well, that's our unsparing captain, but what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Men's talents are the real deal. You're a pass with flying colours, you see. Ah, uh, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me. <laughs> well, I'm sure Matt will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Right. I want to catch my boo. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. And along comes Bidoof. Time to get ready to catch. Please to aim carefully. Not like you seem need to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Let L to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful. Okay. Right. Good doof, well done, time to find your next Pokemon. Okay, so I hear a Starly. I think it's over there. Yes, it's a Starly. There's a Starly that's get short things over and it's startled. Okay, tall grass, crouch down. I already learned how to crouch last episode. Uh, okay, there we go. That's Starly Court, only one more Pokemon to go. And the last one is Shinx. I've got there's still something I ought to teach you, since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball, as Captain Silene taught us. Have an item at the ready, but you want to send out a Pokemon, press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item, press X. Oh. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees, like this one, to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, they'll bring it to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. Use your final hurdle, catching your shanks. Oh, 
Oh, and it learned experience. Nice. There, that's Jinx. Jinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Not at all, it's adorable. Not to worry, these things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. The more arrows you see pointing up, the easier it will be to catch. The next icon will appear if Pokemon is picked to fight with you. Be warned. Okay. You've got to battle them. Once they've, they're absorbed battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try and catch them. By now, you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own battle. Okay. seems to be the right. Okay. Um. Okay, so this appears to be the tutorial about Wild Pokemon battling. Okay, there we go. I did it. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and call each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell Professor we're ready to head back. Huzzah! I have caught three Pokemon. Oh-ho, I said you passed the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Matt. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we best report back to uh, Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? This game's so pretty, man. I love it. And it feels good to control. Like, I am still nervous about having, about the sort of gameplay mechanics of this, because this is out of my comfort zone. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you caught to live in village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. But we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come on now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Silene awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Silene will be very pleased. Headquarters, headquarters, going to headquarters, headquarters. And I want to store the Pokemon I caught at the ranch. Because I actually don't really want them. I have my team planned out. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial, you can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. 
Yeah. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Okay, so. Going to head where I stayed, which was, whereabouts was it? Yeah. Just next door. Change outfit. Uh, yes. This is what I'd like to change into. And I think it looks better than what I was in. I might stay like this the whole game. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had tailored it just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Aha! A hat! Now present yourself to the commander. You can see ceilings in buildings now, it's really weird. Alright. Aha! been waiting for you. I am Kamado, uh, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are mad. Yes, sir. Hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the lift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Hmm, got some fight in you. Your sumo needs some work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider, who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitions among us may, might see your arrival as a, a portent of disaster. But if you pass the trial that was put to you, no matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Matt. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. Right. So the commander has also accepted you. To understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed! You see, the more you add to, your, to the Pokedex, the higher rank will become, and working on the Pokedex will, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours to seek out every last Pokémon. Here, you will need this. A recipe for crafting Pokeballs. One Apricorn and one Tubblestone. 
And 3,000 poker dollars as well. You'll have to buy the necess necessary materials. Car, you're an expert. You're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach on your recruit what needs to know. Of course, Sight Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craftsman here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficient. The self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can make our most valuable tools, poker balls. You can even make our most valuable tools, poker balls. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the craftworks. Well, well done for earning place in our team. I'm, I'm Anthony, the local clothier. Professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I hope they do fit. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. This way to the craft works, Matt. You can use the workbench here at the craft works anytime you need to make an item in the village. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case a Pokeball. Okay. Oh. Craft. Sure. Um, let's craft four for now. Oh, now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the up power to shrink themselves down with the Pokeballs we craft. We can make use of the power to catch them. So, all, also that more Pokemon species can duly can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Pokedex! Yay! Now I can finally do stuff. Um, yeah. Well, we know what Pokedex is. Ooh. Um, so... So far... Yeah. Research tasks for Oshawa, number court, times you use Aquajet, times you've seen it use Waterfalls, okay. Same thing for all of these. Togepi, known in the obsidian fields. Numerically numbered. Just, you know, as it should be. Anyway. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon here in this grand region. You have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. Same goes for me, of course. I've got a po I've got I've also got Pokemon to research as a survey corpse member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me 
at the Fieldlands camp whenever you are ready, my good man. Getting to work on research tasks. I want to do that. I want to catch Pokemon. I want to play the game. <laughs> Excuse me, couldn't help but over here. If you're gonna go to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wormpool. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with the professor, uh, with Professor Lavington. He told me that after Pokemon gain a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, sometimes it changes... It'll change its appearance and become, become stronger. He said so there was a phenomenon called evolution. Okay. So I decided I want to raise a worm for myself and have it evolve. You've heard of the survey corpse, aren't you? If you catch a worm pool, could you please let me have it? There'll be a reward for you, I promise. Just get me a worm pool if you can. So... This is the map. Getting to work on... Um... Uh, quest. Okay. I can check Pokedex whenever. Okay. I know Shinx's ears have all the markings inside, but what were they? No use, I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, I'm just the guy with the survey corpse. If you catch Shinx, will you show it to me? I've got to see it with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall. But I... I've got a Shinx already. Kinda like a star. Can you tell what the leaf this is? I felt like I had bone stuff in my throat. Only the throat's my brain and the bones are thought. Thanks for helping me get the, that bone out. Ooh, I should also probably get this person's request. You're the newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The survey corps must have to get out and about to compile that Pokedex book that we're working on, right? Well, on your way, can you do me a favor and find out all about that Starly? Well, yeah. Okay, Starly. And don't I have a Starly entry in the Pokemon? Oh, it's not my Starly. I don't... Wait. Why don't I have, um... Oh well. Once I do, I'll be able to do that. So you field blends. And the loading screen's really nice too. Holy, holy moly. Oh, I'm doing a stretch. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my boy. Details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Okay. Right. 
One last piece of advice, Matt. You see a lot of Pokemon to attack coming your way. Dodge it like your life depends on it. Dodge. Aha. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press down button to open the Pokedex. You'll see what has you have for that Pokemon. Let's try with Bidoof. Hey, Hikari. Okay. Lots of Starly. So I'm going to be... Okay. Um, I'm just caught without being spotted. Um, Grand Theft Starly. Um, well, how do I find the Pokemon that I've, um...
Oops, that's it. Okay, caught it. Oh, I can change the name of my Oshawott now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look up how to spell the name I'm picking out for it. Sidon. I don't know how to swap out Pokemon. I don't, which is kind of off-putting for me. Uh, I'm defeated. Gonna defeat you in combat. Jet again. Right, the jet again. So, uh, what, what items? 60 HP. I don't need that yet. I'm good. What is this? Tumblestone. Alright. Weasel. I'm gonna use a tackle, hopefully. I'm gonna try and go for another tackle. I know I've not really been speaking much, but I I'm just engrossed by the game. And I'm going to use a Pokeball now, and I'll end the episode here. There we go! Caught a new species of Pokemon. So... Yeah, uh, next time in Pokemon Legends Arceus, we're going to do more of this sort of thing. See you guys then.